Today on Games Up, we will be playing Santo Domingo, the simultaneous action selection game designed by Stefan Risthaus and published by Pegasus Spiele. In Santo Domingo, you will be trading goods and seeking profits, all while trying to stay one step ahead of your competitors. Who will outsmart their opponents and become the premier merchant of the Caribbean? Join us to find out as we play Santo Domingo. Each player receives their eight hand cards, a victory points display card, and a goods display card, with the number of starting goods equal to the number of players. The game board is set up with one starting victory point, one good, and a value of one in the trader row. In the first phase, the supply phase, each marker on the game board is moved forward the indicated number of spaces, as determined by the player count. In the next phase, each player secretly selects one card from their hand to play. Two cards are selected in a two or three player game. Once all players have selected cards, the played action cards are revealed simultaneously and are resolved in ascending order. The eight action cards in detail. Card one, the captain, gives a maximum of two victory points as long as there are victory points available on the game board. If there are not enough victory points available for all captains to get two points, the points are evenly divided so that each captain receives the same number of points. Card two, the admiral, gives a maximum of five victory points, again, as long as there are victory points available on the game board. Card three, the governor, gives an amount of goods that is dependent on the number of captain and admiral cards played by the other players. Cards four and five are similar to cards one and two, except players receive goods from the game board. Card six, customs, gives an amount of victory points that is dependent on the number of card four and card five played. Card seven, the trader, allows a player to trade goods for victory points. If more than one trader card is played, the trader row marker is moved back two spaces per extra trader card. The trading ratio is then determined by the position of the marker on the game board. Then, the marker is reset to zero. Card eight, beggar, gives goods depending on the number of cards left in a player's hand and on the number of trader cards played. The player then takes all cards from their discard pile back into their hand. After resolving the actions, the played cards are placed face down in the player's discard pile. The game ends when one player has reached 30 or more points at the end of a round. Any remaining goods can be exchanged for victory points at a ratio of three goods to one point. Today we invited our friends over, Christos and Matias, to join us <laughs> to play Santo Domingo with four players. And we're going to start the game with the supply phase. Mm -hmm. And because we have four players, we have to um, always add three victory points, three goods, and also in the trader row, the value of three. And now we can all choose our first action card. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. Okay, so I think we all chose our card, so let's yeah. reveal it. Yeah. Uh, very good. Marcus very Marcus. good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we start with the lowest uh, number, the Admiral. And I get maximum five. We have four in the stock, so I get four points. Not bad. <laughs> not I thought bad. everyone was going to play a captain, but yeah. apparently mm -hmm. not. Then the Governor. Yep, so I play the governor, and because you played the admiral, I get two goods. Mm -hmm. which is, so it goes okay. up to six. Mm -hmm. Then we have the frigate. Yes, so I get three mm -hmm. goods. So seven. And now the I'm customs. Three victory points, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Very good. Um, let's see. And because, so the victory points from the customs for example, are independent from the stock. Mm -hmm. okay, so. okay, so we turn around our card so they're hidden, mm -hmm. and then we now get again plus three here. Plus four and plus, so one to seven. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. 
and let's go. Ah, thank you, Marcus. <laughs> uh, I also thought about the bloody governor. <laughs> so the governor sadly now doesn't have any effect. Yeah. And so if we get, I get um, three. Three. Mm -hmm. so up to seven. And thank you to Marcus for playing the frigate because I get three points. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I right. can turn this around again. And then let's go up to six here, then four, and up to ten. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Have you read my mind? You know what I'm going to play? I forgot which card you played. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yay. great. Okay, that's not so bad. Yeah. Okay, the captain first for Christos. Yes, I uh, just need two victory points. That's this one. Then I the, the admiral. admiral, so I get the remaining four. Yeah. Not too bad. So pretty good. Oh, nicely. Mm -hmm. And then I play the governor, so mm -hmm. I get in total six goods. Oh, not bad. So. Oh, 7 plus 6 is 12, yeah. <laughs> 7 plus 6 is 13. Uh, 13? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I had no right. 7. <laughs> and then the trader. Uh, great, this was like very good. If you play other traders, you get um, a less good trader because it decreases. So you can now exchange two goods for two victory points. How many do you want to exchange? All of them. Okay. This means uh, four victory points in this case, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this goes back to zero and you get four victory points. Good. Not bad. Well, the ratio good. is yeah. good, yeah. And then uh, this goes back to zero. Yep. Yeah. Even if you wouldn't exchange anything, it still goes back to zero. So then up to increasing three and three. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> I should have counted cards. Yeah, <laughs> Shall we? Okay, and... Oh. Wow. <laughs> we all were thinking yes. the same thing. That's not so bad for me. Oh, Marcus, you're like... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay, the Galleon... <laughs> it happens like at the same time, so you have seven in total. So, but by, by three, you get two each two and one. Two, okay. Yeah. Stays, so. Okay, that's better than nothing, I guess. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> two is true. <laughs> Just come with the frigate, I guess. Yeah, Thank I didn't you. count this well. Yeah. That's why I thought all the ships are gone by now. But yeah. Then the customs, and to the three points. Yeah, yeah. that's not bad though. Mm -hmm. You seem to be reading our minds, Marcus. They're having psychic powers. <laughs> Normally I'm pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this goes back to six, four, and also six. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, so first the three captains. <laughs> so we all get two points and then it goes back to zero. Okay. But, oh. so, <laughs> then I get a yeah, nice try. <laughs> Nikki gets two points and I get two points and now the admiral <laughs> would get Point if there would be some left over. But the reason we are greedy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. And seven, nine. Oh, the mm. trading rate is very good. Mm. Okay. Okay. Shall, Shall we? we? Matthias and I had <laughs> the same thinking. Okay, yeah, this comes but first, fine, right? Yeah. No, we, we both get our fair share, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, you get three each, three. yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. so one is left over. Matthias, you jump up to five. And Nikki, you go to eleven. Okay, okay then, then we trade. Mm -hmm. It drops one, it drops two squares, right? Yeah, exactly, because the second trader is played. And then we can exchange by the rate underneath, you can also exchange by for wars rate. We start a few crystals. Um, I have nine, mm -hmm. so I get 
six yeah. victory six points, points. And you get six victory points up to eight. And but I have thirteen, so I do this four times. One left, and so I get eight. eight points. Not bad at all. So you're to already on the back. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you say you were bad in this game? <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this, and then the trader goes back to zero, yeah. mm -hmm. and then we have to increase it by three. Okay. We also have to build a beggar to get back <laughs> our cards. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> but this is a really nice yeah. move. Oh. Yeah. The I admiral gives you, you know, played it already, actually, all of you. Gives you five mm. points. No, so you're also going to 14. That's very nice. Um, the galleons, I get four goods. So good. Now we're begging. I have only one card, yeah. so I get three points. Uh, three goods. Mm -hmm. No trader was back. played. Yeah. So three goods for you. And I also have one card, so I get three mm -hmm. goods. So if there would have been a trader played, you get additionally two per trader. Yeah. And now we know it. Yeah, <laughs> there are lots of options for us, <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay. What time would I like to trade? <laughs> okay, so mm. what do we make you play now? Oh, but it's Christmas, but... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's this way. Okay. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. And Nikki, you go first with the captain. Yeah, I get two points. That's my sure thing. I the, get the frigate. Three goods. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we both the beggar you can start. Okay, so for me I get then the maximum goods, right? Mm -hmm, because because I have zero cards means plus four. Mm -hmm. And it's for me the same. Mm -hmm. No trader was played, it's also plus four. And then we take back all of our cards. Okay, this goes again up. Okay. Hmm. okay I'm ready. Oh, yes. oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. okay. Could have been better. <laughs> yeah, could have been better. So, because you played a captain. You're lucky. Yeah, you're yeah, still I, was, lucky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed out of that all red <laughs> mess. Yeah. And then we have to share three points. <laughs> so we get one point each. Okay. Was worth a try, <laughs> not at all. 15 and 18. And so I'm trading. I can trade two goods for two victory mm. points. I have 14, so I'll trade 14 goods for 14 wow. points. Nice. I was, <laughs> yeah, so risky, you are but... 25 now. Oh, man. Ooh, <laughs> no. getting close already. Yeah. Yeah. So 30 and 5. Yeah, I don't wow. know. <laughs> and then it goes back to zero. Yeah. That was really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This goes to six and this goes to three. Mm. What are you guys gonna mm. do? And. Play the. Oh! <laughs> that's not bad. Yeah, okay, really so we them. both <laughs> share the six goods. Six, yeah, that's so three. three. Yeah. So maximum for the two of you, right? Yeah. Still yeah. okay. This was the yeah, time. You guys but you're first. What do we get? Yeah. I get six. <laughs> six. <laughs> so, here's your Oslo at 21. Mm -hmm. Good. I am quite slow still. 16. It's on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. We all, we're all in the back now. Mm -hmm. Good. I 
I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to... I don't to know. win? To win, I'm trying to win, yes. <laughs> that is my objective. Okay, I'm going to see it. So, Let's see, did I pick the right one? And... Okay. Oh, you did. I did. <laughs> yeah. So first, oh, so you, Chris, also. Oh, uh -huh. yes, first the two for Matthias, twenty three now, mm -hmm. and now you get five. You get five, five. so oh, you nice. now jump also up to twenty one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is empty. Yeah. So this is empty. Yeah. Three points are empty, mm -hmm. and I get six. So one for the captain, one for that, or four for the captain, two for the admiral. So, so nine. Not bad. Yeah. And I play the trader, so I can now exchange three for two, so I have twelve, so I get eight points. So I go to twenty-six. Okay. okay. Not bad. And this goes back to zero. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> oh, you played the same one. Yeah, played the same you're one. one point ahead of me, so yeah. I think you're ending it, right? Okay, the frigate first. So, Matthias, you get three points. <laughs> so, you know, are three good, so you're at 12 now. And I get the rest, which is three more. Mm -hmm. So, you are at nine. And we both played customs, so we get four points. Oh, they ended them. Um, and you, yeah, yeah you yes. ended it. Alrighty. So you're first one, two, three, four, you're 29, <laughs> and I'm at 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so That's this triggered the end of the game, because I reached 30 points, but now there's still one last exchange mm -hmm. happening for the worst trade, so three goods can now be uh, exchanged to one victory point. And I would say we start a few Matthias. Yeah, I have 12. What am I going to do? Exchange all of them for four victory points. So, 27. I have... Just mm -hmm. I have nine, so I get three victory mm -hmm. points. So, 24. I also have nine, so I get three victory points. So, I go to 32. 32. And I have zero, so I have... 30 Thank victory you. points, so Nikki, ah. you're so still winning. Right? Yes. You won with 32 points. Okay. Then I have 30, then Matthias with um, 27 points, and then Christos with 24 points. Yeah, it's all really mm. close in the end. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it was all yeah. close, yeah. Mm -hmm. One more round and it would have been completely different, I exactly, guess. Right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. One more trade and, mm, yeah. well, exactly. you have to be fast if you want <laughs> yeah, to win. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's a very quick and fun game. You yeah. can learn yes, very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming yeah, and playing with us. Joining us. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Santo Domingo is a fun, quick, and easy to learn simultaneous action selection game that is set in the same world as one of our favorite card games, Port Royale. We always enjoy playing Santo Domingo with different groups of friends. The game creates a lot of exciting and laughter-filled moments. It's great when you are the only player to correctly anticipate the moves of the other players. It conversely can be frustrating when you are always one step behind the others. But the game is so quick that it's easy to try out your deduction and bluffing skills in another round of the game. We think that the game definitely shines at four or more players. Even though there are specifically designed rules for lower player counts, the game lacks that exciting tension when played with two or three players. There is a nice amount of player interaction and it is always fun to anticipate other players' decisions at higher player counts. At six players, the scoring mechanisms can result in one or two players running away with the lead. We found that the scores were relatively balanced in a four-player game, and all players ended the game feeling satisfied. The game is easy to teach and quick to play. Also, people who are new to the hobby can be easily introduced to Santo Domingo. But in the end, it stays a quick, small game, which can become repetitive after playing it a few times in one evening, as there is not a lot of variability in the card selection and decision making. There is a winter side of the game board that makes trading a little more difficult, however this variation does not change the feel of the game all that much.
Overall, we would recommend Santo Domingo as a quick, fun, and easy to understand game for people looking for a simultaneous action selection card game to bring to the table with larger groups of players. Thank you for watching Games Up. See you next time.